Hey there, crafty friends. A happy Saturday. I very rarely do Facebook Lives on Saturday, but we're working on our daily countdown to the launch of the two new catalogs, the July to December mini catalog and celebration, our second celebration of the year. So today I'm here to share with you another project featuring some of my favorite items from that catalog or those catalogs. Okay, let's see here. Just updating my iPad here. What is going on here? There we go. Okay, all right. My name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada. And uh, like I said, I'm here to share with you uh, kind of some of my favorites. Uh, for the, well, the last two days I shared share with you here yesterday I shared the peaceful deer bundle so we created this card and you can always go back to my YouTube channel to check those out or even on my F stamped treasures Facebook page and the day before we used a celebration product this one here I think it was the something peonies I believe it's called no dahlias uh, so that card there and we're using several different products that are scattered kind of throughout the catalogs today the product that I've chosen to focus on let me move these out of the way here the product I've chosen to focus on is the gorgeous leaves bundle now you can find this on page 47 of the mini catalog and I love this fall is my favorite season so Almost every year I buy a new leaf set just because um, I just I love fall and I love leaves I love the colors I like the Christmas crispness in the air I just love fall so that is my favorite this year and then I'll be using because this one doesn't have any greetings and I need a greeting for my card I decided to use another favorite this is from the celebration brochure it's called in your words now this stamp set was designed um, the greetings were designed by Stampin' Up! demonstrators. So Stampin' Up! asked for some input on good greetings. And so that's, that. this stamp set is the result of that. So there's some great greetings in here. Um, be, be who you were born to be. Hope this card makes you smile. There is magic in every beginning. I love this one. Hope your day is fantabulistic, fabulous and fantastic all in one. So there's some really, really great greetings. And this is something that you can earn for free with a qualifying workshop during celebration. So celebration runs from August 3rd until September 30th. And um, if you place a qualifying workshop or place an order of $375 or more, then you can get this, you automatically get this for free in addition to the additional stamp and rewards that you qualify for, okay? Um, now $375 is a lot to do on your own. I mean, it's actually not very difficult to add up to $375, but all at once, that's, that's a huge commitment. So you might wanna consider either hosting an online party or um, even just collecting orders from friends and putting the orders together. And maybe you can, get the orders up to $375. Okay, so that's an option. The other products that I'll be using is the brushed metallic adhesive dots. Now, I believe, did I use these? I believe I used these. Yes, I used these on Thursday when I went live. So I'm gonna use them again. I actually really, really love these. These are part of the Harvest Meadow Suite. You'll find them on page 55 of the mini catalog. So we're gonna use those today. We're also going to use the Harvest Meadow DSP. So this is also on page 55. This is a beautiful DSP. So I'll just do a quick flip through. I love this pattern. This is the pattern we're going to be using today. Now the Harvest Meadow Suite is actually the collection of products that we will be focusing on at our summer celebration extravaganza. And I will post a link to that event, which will be on August 21st. Um, I'll post a link to that event in the description. Whoops, sorry, it's just sorry in the back sides now. That one, this one, I think some of these are upside down. It's much easier to do <laughs> video <laughs> the other way. And I'm hoping that I was switch, when I switch the camera around, I'm gonna remember how to do it because it's been a very long time since I've done front facing and then flipped the camera around. So 
but somebody wanted to see my hair because I got my hair done yesterday. So I promised to do a face, face on video here. Okay, and then the last item that I'm focusing on is our uh, gold shimmer vellum. So this is it here, and I know it's in the plastic. I will share a better look at it without the lights glaring on it when I flip the camera around. But this vellum is the same type of vellum if you've noticed in the annual catalog. We have um, an in-color selection of shimmer vellum. It's so, so pretty. Um, so I'll give you a closer look at that. This one is two sheets of 12 by 12 gold. Okay. All right. So those are the products that we're going to focus on. Now I'm going to flip my camera around. So if you get motion sickness, you might want to just kind of close your eyes for a minute. So I got to move my chair here. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, just give it a minute to catch up, make sure that we're relatively straight. Uses a different camera this way, so I don't think the camera is quite as good, but it should be good enough that we can we can work through it. All right, let's see here. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's move this over so it's centered. These little things kind of bother me. All right, okay, let's get started. Now today we are going to do a note card size card. Now, note card size ends up folded. It ends up being uh, three and a half inches by five inches. So it's a little bit smaller than a, a standard size card. And um, we do carry packages in the annual catalog where you can buy these pre-cut and scored and it comes with note card size envelopes. I, I love note cards because they make for quick and easy cards. They're a little bit smaller so you feel like you don't have to do quite as much. Um, but just, just for the, the sake of simplicity, the note cards are great. Now I was looking in my drawer and where I keep all my pre-cut card bases and envelopes and things and I have several note card size like pre-scored cards but I have no envelopes left so I've come up with a design to make my own envelope today which I'm going to share with you as well okay so if you don't have note cards and envelopes what you can do is you can start with a five by seven piece of cardstock and score it at three and a half inches along the seven inch side and that will give you a note card size, okay? And then if you've got lots of DSP, and I know you do because every one of us has tons of DSP, this envelope is a great way to use, uh, use up some of that DSP, okay? So we're gonna stamp our card front first. Now I am going to start with this image here. I love, I love these three images. I think they're gonna be great for backgrounds. Today we're just going to use this particular image for our background. And I'm going to use soft suede ink and I'm going to stamp it three times. So I'll ink it up, just make sure it's all inked. I'll stamp it once. Isn't that beautiful? And then I'm trying to hold down my card base. twice and it doesn't matter if it overlaps because of the nature of the stamp it'll still look good okay so now we've got a quick and easy background I mean it looks fabulous right now you could add an just a single leaf with a greeting over top and you've got a quick and easy card but we're gonna step it up a little bit and do a little bit more than that um, okay next step let's do all of our stamping first Okay, so I've got a scrap piece of white. I'm gonna slide that out of the way. And on this scrap piece of white, I'm going to use this leaf. And wait until you see how this stamps. I love this leaf. 
Look at how pretty that is. I love all the extra little flecks kind of around it. I just love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna ink this up again, and I'm gonna stamp it on the inside of my card. Okay, so we've dressed that up just a little bit. And then we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna bring in, so this was Bumblebee. And now we're gonna bring in some Calypso Coral. So I took my whole color palette right from the Harvest Meadow DSP. So these colors are all in the Harvest Meadows DSP. And now I'm using the smaller leaf. And I'm gonna stamp two of these. And look how pretty that is. Okay, and then, oh, I still need that because we're gonna do something else with these. Okay, now, now there's this stamp in the collection, which has three little leaves on there. So I want to use just this leaf here. So just this one. So I'm just gonna use the corner of my ink pad and ink up just that and stamp it down. And I want two of them. Okay, all right. This set is on your list, Shirley. Yes, it is beautiful. This is actually, uh, this bundle, actually a lot of these products, this bundle, the brushed metallic dots, the Harvest Meadows DSP, those are some of the items that we will be using or that I will be using in um, the treasure chest, my membership group um, in September. So I just, I love this set. I had to choose this set because I can just see creating so many beautiful projects with it. Home decor, cards, scrapbook layouts. Okay, and then my happy birthday is from the In Your Words because I, I've got a few fall birthdays that I need card for cards for. So I'm just going to ink that up with some soft suede and then stamp that down on there. Okay, and now we need to do some die cutting. So let me bring in the dies. All right, so this die cuts out this guy. This die cuts out this guy. And then we are gonna take a piece of that gold shimmer vellum. Now let me see if the camera will catch up. Oh, the glare is really bad. Hopefully you guys, oh yeah, you guys can see that shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? So this is a two and a half by two and a half inch piece of that gold shimmer. And we're gonna die cut this leaf, okay? Now I've gone ahead and done that. So I've got my two coral leaves, my, look how pretty that is, my shimmery gold leaf, and then my bumblebee leaf. So we'll put these back. And let's finish off our card. And then we'll go, to, go on to the envelope. Okay, so these little guys here, there's not dies for those. I am going to take a half inch circle punch. Now we don't carry half inch circle punches anymore. Um, this is a really old one. I tend to keep most of my circle punches, but you might have a different shape or maybe you have this one from when we carried it before. Um, you could also punch out a different shape uh, or you can use a larger image. You'll see what I use those. I'm not gonna use those on the card. I'm going to use those on the envelope. So we're gonna set those aside for now and bring back our card base. Okay, we're gonna start by adhering the largest leaf. And I'm gonna use a mini glue dot. I don't want it stuck all the way down. I want there to be some movement on the card. So I'm going to just use one mini glue dot kind of right in the center and I'm going to make sure that it doesn't stick off the edge so it'll fit nicely in my envelope when I make it. Then I'm going to take the next largest leaf and I'm just going to manipulate it a little bit to give it a little bit more texture. You could crinkle it right up if you wanted to and then I'm going to take some adhesive 
I finally refilled my seal this morning. Okay, and then this guy's going to go off center like this. So we're creating like a little cluster. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. Just put a little bit of adhesive. There, okay. And then this, I need to trim this down just a little bit. It's a little bit long. So I'll just bring in my paper trimmer, just trim the ends off. Okay, and then we'll add a little bit of seal to the back and you didn't think I'd make a card without some baker's twine, did you? Take some baker's twine and we're just going to kind of just create kind of a little loopy, loopy background. See what that looks like. Okay, and then snip this off. And then this is going to go on using dimensionals. And yes, I agree, Amy. This is perfect for Thanksgiving. You could do some little table treats with this set. Super cute. Okay, that's going to go on just like that. And then the last step to our card is to add our metallic dots. And this time I'm going to use gold. So on the Dahlia card, I used kind of like, these look almost copper or maybe rose gold. So for these ones, I'm gonna use the gold. And there's our card. See how simple that was? And it just looks absolutely stunning. And this could go, this could be masculine or it could be feminine. You could change this up and make it a sympathy card. You could make it, oh, the glare. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, I don't find it says bad when I use the other camera. It's a little bit better. All right, and then there's the inside. So now we need to make an envelope. So my inspiration for this, this we're gonna use this on the other project as well. So my inspiration, gold, copper, and bronze. Okay, thank you. Um, for this was um, Sarah Douglas, the CEO of Stampin' Up. She uh, did a Facebook Live a while ago. It was probably more than a month ago now. And she shared three different sized envelopes using DSP. Now I looked back at that uh, Facebook Live and she shared a standard size, like a medium regular size card. So for four and a quarter by five and a half, she shared the measurements for that. She shared the measurements for a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So if you do square cards, which I occasionally do, and we don't have envelopes for that, so that was nice. And then she also shared three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, so that's more like memories and more card size. But this one measures, like I said before, it measures three and a half by five. So she didn't have the measurements for that. So I did some figuring and I've figured out the measurements. So I'll share those with you today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our DSP and I'm going to cut it down. Now, if your paper is directional, Hopefully only one side is directional. It's much easier if only one side is directional. Um, so you can see that this side is directional. I'm going to have that as the short measurement. So the top as the short measurement. So this is going to get cut down to five and a quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna trim it five and a quarter. So right now it's five and a quarter by 12. And then I'm going to rotate it and I'm gonna cut it to 11 inches. So for this particular envelope size, you want five and a quarter by 11 is your measurement to start. 
okay? Now, I determine which pattern you want face out. And I want this pattern face out because then it really coordinates well. You can see that we've got the bumblebee, we've got the coral. It just works really, really well. This one would work as well because it's kind of earthy tones. It's like, it's a crumb cake, but this is the side I want out. So what I'm going to do is with the, the, the out side up, <laughs> I'm going to move it over and at three quarters of an inch, I'm going to score. So remember that on your paper cutter, let me move this up a little bit, on your paper cutter, the light gray is the scoring tool. So I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch and then I'm going to flip it around and on this side, I'm going to do three quarters of an inch as well. Okay, now I'm going to go back to this side and I want to make sure that it's going in the right direction and then I'm going to rotate this but flip it over. So the top of the directional piece is on your left. I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to score it at one and three quarters. And then off from the other side I'm going to score it at four inches. Okay, now what we're going to do is we will find it easier to see the score lines. You can see where the score lines intersect here. Okay, so this one goes up this way, this one goes this way. What I'm going to do is where this score line is, about a, not quite a quarter of an inch in, I'm going to cut and meet all the way up. with this bit here. And then on here, this score line, so if I fold it, I'm gonna go, again, probably not quite a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to snip up to this score line. I'm gonna repeat that on this side. So let's fold along here so you guys can see. So there's the score line. I'm gonna go just a little less than a quarter of an inch, and I'm gonna cut diagonally right to that corner. And then again, we'll fold this down a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. Am I, I'm not even in camera here. There we go. And then diagonally. Okay, so this is going to be our top flap. Now for this bottom flap, we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, so here is the score line. I'm going to go in a quarter of an inch ish and up to that joint and then pinch over here and about a quarter of an inch and up to that score line. Now I want to cut this strip off. Now you can use scissors if you want. I do find it easier to just line this back up in here and then snip it Just run it down like that because then you get a straighter cut and then again line this up with let's do it this way three quarters of an inch and you're basically cutting to the four inch mark on your ruler okay and there we go we've got our envelope shape so now we can fold along all those score lines use our, using our bone folder to make it nice and crisp. And the reason why you want to make sure that you're mindful of the direction is you can see that this is how the envelope is going to open. So by being careful of which direction the even the inside paper goes when you open your envelope this is an upside down okay so that's something that you want to just keep in mind so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add adhesive up here so you can use multi-purpose glue you can use seal you could use um, seal plus whatever you'd like 
I'm just going to use some multi-purpose glue. Fold that up. And there is our envelope. I'll just, I'm making sure that my edges are lined up nicely. That's the thing about multi-purpose glue. It gives you that flexibility to manipulate it for a few seconds anyways. All right. So now you may have figured out where these things are going to come into play. So this envelope obviously is not something that you would pop in the mail unless maybe you tucked it into one of our transparent, um, transparent envelopes first and then labeled that uh, just because this is going to have a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm going to take bring in my dimensionals and on the back of these two pieces I'm going to add a single dimensional and then I'm going to use my grid mat to try to determine the center and I'm going to put the end of my tw twine down here and let's see here. Let's turn it so that our leaf isn't upside down and our dimensional will hold that twine into place. And then this will just go right underneath it but on the larger flap and then what you can do is you can just wrap this around and then trim and there's the closure for our envelope so it just you just unwrap it and the card fits inside you just want to make sure that all your little bits get tucked in there and then we can close it up like that and we'll flip it over and actually let's flip it over this how did I put this in here yeah it goes this way so we'll flip it over and we'll use we're just going to add a little leaf to the outside there we go and it's done so let's seal this up again and I will bring in my sample so that you guys can see them both. So we've got our envelope, we've got that, here's the other side of the envelope, and then there's our card. All right, so lots and lots of great new products uh, to look forward to. Remember that the catalogs go live on August 3rd. and it'll be celebration at the same time, which means that for every $60 that you spend, you get to choose something of the celebration brochure for free. All right, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will be back again tomorrow with another project. Tomorrow we're going back to Christmas, trying to switch it up so that you don't have a ton of Christmas because there's so much Christmas in there that, you could, that I could share. And um, yeah, all right, have a fabulous day and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care guys.